yeah, I just wanted to show you guys our cute little animals. And uh, no, I've showed them on Facebook. I'm not gonna eat them for dinner. They're my daughter's pets. <laughs> We recently got some animals and my husband is building in the process of building this very awesome uh, howla. howla. I don't even know words in English anymore. Cage? House? And uh, we have a rabbit. <laughs> we have a little rabbit. And we have a uh, little chicken. And I know nothing about raising animals. And so we have this chicken and I found out that we will, thank you. We will never get eggs out of this chicken. So uh, I will try to find another chicken. I have to find another chicken that will give us eggs, but they're still cute to have around. Up, oh, the rabbit got out. So now we, we gotta fix that up a little bit. I never thought that, uh, yeah, I never thought that I would enjoy and appreciate and love living out in uh, nature like this and i never thought i would how much i would enjoy having little animals and just you know sitting out and watching them eat bugs in the ground it's so fun and relaxing after a day of work or whatever it's kind of silly uh, we're also considering getting some goats i'm doing research on that i would like to get some milk goats i've heard that does are easier to deal with than males what's a male goat called i don't know uh, if you have any experience with goats, let me know your experience in the comments because it's something we do. So behind our house, our house is over here. Not this one, this is not our house. Our house is over here. And behind our house is um, a lot of space and a lot of brush. And so I was thinking, and on the side of the house, if we got some goats, we got some free lawn mowing. Plus I want goats, they're so cute. Apparently they're easier to deal with and cuter than sheep. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this, on my goat idea, but look at the background. I get to live here. And the beauty of this is, is that I only live like 40 minutes outside of a big city. So I get the, I get to live in this beautiful rural area and I get to, for the first time in my life, start to uh, deal with animals. I mean, I had dogs as a kid. Um, I've been allergic to cats and right now I'm not allergic to cats. I've been terribly allergic to cats even as of like 10 years ago. Um, even as of last November, when I visited my sister and all of her animals were giving me a lot of, a lot of problems. So I'm not sure what changed. Maybe eating a carnivore diet, Coach Bronson, shout out to Coach Bronson mentioned, maybe it could be from the carnivore diet, but because my body's not dealing with so many fires, it can deal with the fire of allergies better. I don't know. That's a possibility. Um, so, <laughs> um, I was really hoping to get eggs out of the chicken, which we won't be getting. Uh, so I got to figure out what type of chicken. I need to get some baby hens and raise some hens so I can get some eggs. But this is just a start. None of us have ever raised or dealt with animals before. And we're really excited about this next phase of our life. And uh, in living on a, a homesteadish sort of place out in nature. Hello! And there's Jacob. Hello. Uh, so I'll keep you posted about that. Um, I know that my channel is mainly about carnivore, but I just wanted to show you the recent additions to our family. Uh, Coney the Conejo and Poji the Pollo <laughs> were really imaginative in our family.